Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the multiplication of a row matrix by a column matrix. So this is super confusing the first time you see it, and I wouldn't be surprised if you don't pick it up the first time through. We're going to do a couple of examples to hopefully get it a little clearer, but it's a tricky concept and it is hard and you can make some mistakes if you aren't paying uh, that much attention. So what we're going to go through is we're going to go through and just multiply these two matrix then do another example. So what's important is we've talked about this concept of order before, the order of a matrix or the dimensions of a matrix. So this is super important because in a matrix multiplication we need our matrices to have some order before we can actually multiply them together. So we've looked at this R by C, so we said a matrix is defined as a number of rows multiplied by a number of columns and this is the notation that we use. So if we're looking at this matrix here on the left we can say it's got one row, so it's got one row which goes across, and it's got one, two, three columns. So if we were to write this out, it's got one row, we would say it is a one row matrix multiplied by a three column matrix, it is a one by three matrix. If we look at our matrix on the right, this is the opposite, it's got one, two, three rows, so we'd say it has three rows, and it's got one column only, so we would say it is a three by one matrix. So what's really important when we're multiplying matrices together is we can only multiply a matrix together providing these two middle numbers here, so the three and the three, they are the same. So if they're not the same, we cannot multiply our matrices together, so they need to be the same. And if we check here, We've got a one, two, three columns and one, two, three rows, so three and three. They are the same. We can multiply these, we can give it a tick, and we can go forward multiplying these. And if they are the same, what we can say is that the resulting matrix which we obtain is going to have dimensions of this outside number. So if these two are the same, we can multiply them, and the resulting matrix we'll get will be of dimensions, in this case, one by one. So we'll say that these are going to be, this is going to be the resulting matrix. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll have a go at actually multiplying this matrix here. We know that we can do it because the inner numbers are the same and we're going to get this one by one matrix on the outside. So a one by one matrix is what we call a scalar quantity. So it's going to be a scalar quantity. So that just means after we've finished with all this multiplication, we're just going to end up with one row and one column, so if we were to kind of cover up everything else here, that would just be a number, so it would be one row, and it would be one column, so it would basically just be one number in the middle. And what that number is, we don't know yet, and we'd call it a scalar quantity. That's just a fancy term for one constant number. So if we look now, we can start multiplying this matrix. So in order to do this, we take the first row, and we're going to slowly move across the first row and we're going to take the terms from the first row and the first column and we're going to multiply them by the first row, first column over here. So it is confusing um, but I guess the easiest way to do it is to just go on through and do the example. So we'll take our first row, first column and multiply it by the first row, first column of our second matrix. So we're going to have for our first number, we're going to have 1 here multiplied by a 4 over in this matrix. So we're going to have 1 multiplied by 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to add to that these other terms in the matrix. So then we're going to take our second, our first row second column so our first row, second column, label all this, and this is one, two, three, one. Take our first row, second column, and multiply that with our second row, first column. So we take our number two here, which first row, second column, and we multiply it by our second row, first column, here. And then we add that to the first number we obtained. So we're going to get 2 multiplied by 5. So that's going to be our second term, and remember that's added to the first term we obtained. 
and then what we're going to do next is we're going to take our first row third column and multiply it by our third row first column so what we say is that we have this first row third column multiply it by our third row first column which is six we're going to add that to the other things we've obtained and we'd say it's going to be three multiplied by six and we're going to add that to our other terms we've obtained and that is going to be our resulting matrix so as you can see it's only one row and after we add all of these numbers together it will just be one column because all of these numbers are going to be added into one number so it's going to be a one by one just like we predicted we would get down here so if we do that and we do simplify it down we're going to have a one by four which is going to be equal to four and then we're going to add to that 2 times 5, which is 10, so we're going to add 10, and then we're going to add to that 3 times 6, which is just 18. So we can say that our resulting matrix is going to be 4 plus 10 plus 18. So we know 4, uh, the easiest way to do this is 10 plus 18 is 28, plus 4 is 32. So our resulting matrix will be this one by one matrix with 32 in the middle. Because that's just one number, we can say our resulting matrix is going to just equal 32. So it's quite a tricky concept, and it does simplify just down into one number, but what you need to follow is that we're taking our first row, first column, multiplying it by our first row, first column. Then we're taking our first row, second column, multiplying it by our second row first column and adding it together and then we're taking our first row third column and multiplying it by our third row first column and we're adding them all together so it's complex but we're going to do another example and hopefully at the end of that you guys can go off and multiply matrices in your own world so I'll get rid of all this Right, so let's say for our next matrix, we're going to have the numbers We'll do a trickier example this time So we'll say we'll have the numbers 3, 2, and 1 And we'll have 2, negative 1, and 4 So the first thing we need to check is the order of our matrix so we check the order. So for this matrix here, we know we've got this R multiplied by C rule. We can check the rows. So it's got one row. And we can check the number of columns. It's got one, two, three columns. So it's a one by three. Then we check our next matrix. It's got one, two, three rows. So it's got three rows. And it's got one column. So it is indeed. We need to check these middle two numbers to see if they're the same. We've got the 3 and 3, they are the same, so we can multiply. And we know that the resulting matrix we're going to get is a 1 by 1. It looks a lot like our last example, just with different numbers, I think. So then what we're going to know is we come out with a 1 by 1 matrix at the end. And we said last time it's going to be this 1 by 1 matrix. We'll leave it like that to start with. So the way we do it is we, we're going to label all our rows and columns first. So that's our rows there, 1, 2, 3, and label our columns, 1, 2, 3, and 1. We take our first row, first column of our first matrix, so here, and we multiply it by our first row, first column of our second matrix. So we're going to get our 3 multiplied by our 2. And then we add to that our first row second column of our next matrix so we've got our first row second column of our next matrix and then we multiply that by our second row first column of our second matrix so three uh, two multiplied by one so we're going to have this two multiplied by our negative one 
and that's going to be the second term in our matrix. And then we add to that our first row third column from our first matrix here, and then we multiply that by our third row first column of our second matrix. So our last term is going to be we add 1 multiplied by 4, just like that, and that's going to be our completed matrix. So then what we need to do is we need to simplify this down. We can do that. So we know 3 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6. 2 multiplied by negative 1 is going to give us negative 2. So it's going to be 6 plus negative 2, I forgot my plus sign, plus 1 multiplied by 4, which is going to give us positive 4. So we can just simplify this out. It does indeed give us a 1 by 1. 6 minus 2 is 4 plus 4 is going to be 8. So we're going to end up with this resulting matrix which is equal to 8 and because it's a one row and one column matrix we can say it's just a single number and it's going to be equal to 8. So it's tricky but we take our first 1 and 1 and we multiply it by 1 and 1. Then we take 1 and 2 and we multiply it by 2 and 1. So we multiply it by 2 and 1. And then we take 1 and 3, we multiply it by 3 and 1, and then we just add them all together. So that's how we do row by column multiplication, and in this case, both our examples came out to give us just scalar numbers. So I'll put up some examples for you guys to have a go at, but if you find it a little bit confusing or daunting, don't worry, just keep practicing, and eventually you'll be able to do it. So I'll put out some more stuff for you.